Shop Video Tutorials by Andrew Buckle. In this tutorial I'm just going to show you how you can use the bass relief filter to create gradients. Now you can of course go over to the standard gradient tool and create a gradient. Well I'm not going to do that, I'm going to use the bass relief and set the foreground background before you use it, that's the key thing. Unfortunately you can't when you're actually in the filter unfortunately and go to filter and filter gallery and you can see the colours there. You've got the brown and the there, the mustard colour at that side, top left, and detail set to there, and smoothness up at a maximum of 15. Now, once you've actually done that, you can apply the filter and just apply that, click OK, and then you've got the design there. So it's a slight bit of banding, and you can obviously apply some sort of blur or whatever you want to do to remove that. However, that's not the end of it. What you can, of course, do you can apply it more than once. So you just go there and you can change the colour. So set that to that and maybe blue and then go to filter and filter gallery and you can change the direction. So say right or top right and then click OK and then go over to edit and fade filter gallery and you can go through darken, lighten and so on and so on. Click OK. Now, also, probably a better way to do it is to actually apply the filter to a layer. Because the thing about the layer is you can just remove the layer and you can also move, modify the blending mode very quickly. So, so I've got that. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to start with that. So layer and duplicate layer. And now I'll just go to, again, you can change that. I'm going to change it quickly just to that. And then go to filter and Filter gallery, just made certain I've actually got a layer there, and you can see again the filter there, there, and then there, and then you can modify opposite direction, top left, click OK. Now, what you can do then, you just go over here and you've got blending modes, so you can modify that again, difference, and so on and so on. Right. So that's a quick and easy way, and of course, as it's a layer, you can always remove it. You can also create three, four, five, six, seven, eight layers and create far more complex bass relief gradients than obviously what you can probably just create with a single one. Now, also what you can do, you can use selection. So you can actually do that. And then and I'm, I'm just going to use a quadrant approach, a gradient quadrant approach. And I would like to go to view and new guide to layout, going for two and two. So you can see this there. You can use selections, so just select that and just down there. So you can create that selection and then you can of course use the same colours. I'm going to do that for this example, but you can change between each apply, go for red, green, blue, yellow, whatever. So you can keep changing it before you apply the filter. But I'm just in this, just to speed it up a bit, just going to apply, just going to modify this. So you can just see the difference there. So you can see the effect straight away. You can select it or reapply it just using the actual guides and now filter filter gallery and you can modify that top left and apply that there and again go down there and again go filter and filter gallery maybe top click OK and so on and so on so you can just see top effect you can create and I can just finish that off just by going there but of course you don't have to use just squares you can use circular designs you can also just go say a selection like that just select the whole area there and then apply filter and filter gallery. Again, change that if you wish. Just set that and then go to filter gallery. And maybe make that bottom left. Click OK. And so you can create some very interesting gradient designs using the bass relief. And of course, you can use things like quick mask, maybe to use something like that. I'm just going to click there and then use, say, custom shapes. I'm just going to select the custom shape tool, pixels, use black and say like these checkerboard designs, just add that and then just create that, come out of quick mask and then apply the effect to that. So just go to filter and filter gallery and again apply the effect there. Again change that if you want. I'm just going to go for say red there, make it a bit more different than blue, just go for white. And again go to filter and Filter gallery and apply the effect there, and so on and so on. And of course, you can obviously inverse that as well to apply slightly different angles and much more. And that's a 
very quick run through and there's probably a lot more I could say about bass reef and gradients but that's a basic run through of some of the more obvious features. Now I hope you found this uh, tutorial of interest and please subscribe to the Graphic Extras channel and there's always new tutorials on the graphicextras.com website. Thank you much.